Hello everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to run um, and install an <coughs> NES emulator and on Linux, um, the Linux distro I'm using is uh, Linux Mint and I'm using an old uh, Dell Optiplex 360 uh, computer with 4 gigabytes of RAM and the Intel um, Core 2 Quad Q6600 uh, CPU in it and uh, let's get started so you just type in Alt Control T to start the terminal and you type in uh, sudo apt get update that's what you type in first put your password in then type in sudo apt get install hygen I already installed it so it didn't take very much time at all so the next thing I'm going to do is um, go into my directory I put my uh, ROMs in this directory I'm going to get NES I'm going to copy that we're going to start the emulator, it's called Hygen. And I want to start the Famicom. So I'm going to paste what I copied, press enter. Okay, and I'm going to start that. I'm going to configure the controls. Go to inputs. Down, left, right, B, A, select, and start. That's good. Close it and start. Get 
it's working. This is 1942, it's running just fine. Let's see if I can get it to full screen. Video. I'm going to put F12 as the full screen key. So I'm going to press F12, got full screen. Seems to be running a little bit sluggishly. Put it back to F12. Guess it doesn't like that. So I'm going to import. ROM files. Select all and import it. Okay, that's good. So I'm going to exit Go to Famicom and see what I have here. So these are all the games that I imported. Try Russian Attack. Guess that one doesn't work. Maybe I have to change it. That worked. Let's try another game. Try Russian attack again, see if it works. Okay. It works, but I had to change it to NTSC USA. Yeah.
Yeah, it's kind of like it's, it doesn't run well on full screen for some reason. I guess I don't have a fast enough <coughs> computer to run it <coughs> in uh, full screen. This is a very old computer after all. So it's running pretty uh, solidly. It didn't crash or anything. Okay, I can make the screen a little bit bigger. Doesn't have to be full screen, but which is good. So it says it's running at 60 frames per second. You see that in the bottom left corner. Okay. What if I put it in full screen? <coughs> I can't see it though. Excuse me. Let's have some bronchitis or something. Just keep coughing. All right. Um, Try something else. Let's go to video scale. Um, large. That's, that doesn't sound good. How about medium? Okay, let's try to play another game. Um, what is this? Okay, so I want Famicom games. So Castlevania, so this one is for the US, so I have to select USA, I guess. Start. That's running pretty good. It's running pretty good. Didn't crash or anything, it's still running. <laughs> 
So I'm using an old Logitech uh, USB. I think it's an F310 gamepad. I guess an old computer like this can still be used if you want to use it to play retro games. It's good. It's good for that. Whoops. Ah. <laughs> All right, that, that's enough. That runs okay. This emulator is pretty good. You can um, not only run um, Nintendo games, so Famicom is what they call it. That's what they call the Nintendo in Japan. So that's Super <coughs> Nintendo. Game Boy. Even has a Sega Genesis. <coughs> Sega Master System. <coughs> game Gear. Turbo Graphics. I don't know what, what that is. So in order to play the games you have to import the ROMs. So I'm going to import the SNES ROM. So select all, import. Okay, I'm gonna stop it here. It just takes too long. No, I don't want to view it. <clears throat> I want to go here and see what I got. I think I have to set the controls here. Set the input. That didn't sound too good. I guess uh, I, I will be using another emulator to run Super Nintendo games. Um, I guess for Nintendo it's okay, so for the NES it's okay, but um, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching, by Ace1000KS1975, signing out.